Well, the holidays can be hard for families who have lost a loved one. Today, a nonprofit looked to give them a reason to smile. Kami Stein's Peyton Headley shows us how. Let me get the ball, please. Go. I picked this mannequin doll. Coloring sheet. Dad can color it. I think I want to go with this. Like a kid on Christmas morning. I can get another one. Dozens eagerly picked out gifts on Saturday. We going with this. Eight-year-old Amaya Clark chose a doll and some other things too. A Barbie. Her name is Jasmine. She's here with her older brother Amari. We get a present. They're celebrating at the annual Children of Homicide Victims Gift to Heal event. We're going to sing to bring everybody happy because everybody lost their parents in here. Amaya and Amari lost their dad a few years ago. It's all right without him. It's kind of all right. We already know he's still with us, but we just can't see him. Still. They miss him. These children are at my at the center of my heart because they are. They remind me of me. Sunny Carney is the founder of the Children of Homicide Victims nonprofit. Yeah. Carney lost her dad to gun violence 11 years ago. And just seeing the smiles on their faces, knowing that their little hearts are going through a grieving journey, I get emotional every time. So with hundreds of toys and dozens of kids, Carney helped Christmas come early. This is where I wanted to get long along. And all these gifts were donated. If you want to contribute to their mission, you can donate on their website, cohvkc.com. Well,